Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Let's get it out of the box, let's get all the parts laid out and then start building it. But just before we do that, I took the liberty of rescuing the manual from inside the box. A6M30, new 800mm series. <laughs> ah, well, you know. Uh, yeah, so we will be as much as is logical following this. If I think something isn't right, then I won't. Uh, but anyway, that's what we're going to look at. Let's get these bits out. Soon after. Well, I have to do this even before I get it out of the box. Ooh. <laughs> well, it's certainly not 750. It is, in fact, 790. So it's not a 750 millimeter. It's 790, which is as good as the Hobby King one saying it was 750 and it was 740. This one is saying it's 800, and in fact, it's 790. As I said before, what's 10 millimeters between friends? Let's carry on and get this all out. A little later. There's all the parts out of the box. So we've got the main wing. All one piece. No horns on it. You can see here. So part of this build is to put the horns on all the moving surfaces. We've got our fuselage. We've got the horizontal stabiliser and elevators. So they also need horns putting on them tank slides on so we can take it on and off as we wish undercarriage it's a quick release undercarriage so we can put it on take it off it's no big deal and a bag full of bits now this bag has the push rods with the clevises and they've already got the tubing on them to hold them closed we've got the Horns, and they are the horns that I thought. They've got these tubes that slot into those big holes. I'll show you those as we go through them. What else have we got? We've got a Y lead or stuff, and we've got screws, and the screws will be used to hold the horns in place. But there'll only be two screws, although they provide four holes. That's the way it is. I suppose it keeps the weight down. I've got two props over here in this corner, but this is the prop that came in the box. It's only got a stripe painted one side. And this is the spare prop that I purchased from AliExpress, or via AliExpress, I should say, not from them. Before I do anything on this one, I will be taking my time and I'll be putting popper dots on it and I will also be spraying it with acrylic clear coat. Now looking at the fuselage, I think all I need to do on this is mask this whole canopy area off. I'm not going to do the individual windows, I'm just going to mask the whole area off and spray that. I'm also going to paint my pegs here black. If I've got a green, I might do it green, but a black would be okay. If you saw my unboxing on this one, you would have seen that this rudder had separated from the vertical stabiliser. And I did a repair using foam tack. So that's still pretty good, it's free to move. But what I might do is just put some hinge tape down that side. Just one side, just to hold it a little better. But apart from that, I think it's all good, just going to put popper dots on it. So I better get on with that, get a nice cup of tea and get on with it. Much, much, much later. I've finished doing all the popper dots. <clears throat> Let's take a look at those. Quite a bit of detailing on this. And combined, the popper dots make it look quite attractive. It sort of pops out. No pun intended. 
Oh, this is quite fascinating. The underside of this wing has so much detail in it. It's incredible. FMS Digital Servos. Oh, I missed one, look. I missed the box. You see it there? And there. Oh, I didn't do that very well. Must be, this must be the last one I did. Oh, well, I'm just going to get that finished. That's the fuselage. The rudder seems fine, but I am just going to trim it a bit where there's a bit of overspill of glue and then put some tape, hinge tape on it, just to be extra secure. As you can see, this is all done. So I have to finish a panel of popper dots here and then I want to spray it all with lacquer. 20 minutes later. I've got everything masked very very lightly to the point where some of the tape is actually lifting off because I'm not pressing down hard. But once the lacquer's on it doesn't matter, it can lift up. So I've taped this up, which I'm happy with. I've done the fuselage. The prop shaft I've got covered up to protect it. Obviously the canopy. The wing saddle. I'm protecting this because I don't want it to be smooth and silky. I want the roughness to stay there. So when the wing binds to it, it's got every chance of a good grip. This is where the stabilizers go, horizontal stabilizer. There's just a bit of tissue in there to stop overspray getting in. And of course, the tail wheels got tape over it. So that's the fuselage. Horizontal stabilizers, well, I'm covering up the areas where they glue together and where they glue into the fuselage. And then our main wing, the saddle, where the saddle goes here is covered up so that won't be silky and smooth. And also here where it keys into the fuselage that's covered up. For those of you who are interested, this paint does not peel off. I tested it uh, on the saddle here, so that's why I've stuck this down. It'll come off and the paint will stay on. Unlike the Hobby King paint, it just flakes. Right, that's it. I'm using my new spray, Autotech. I've learnt my lesson from the Corsair. Light coats, 10 minutes apart, should prevent any of the drips forming. I'll go and do that now, come back and we'll take a look at it and start the assembly. But before I take the fuselage to be lacquered, this hole here and the one here are for exhaust ports. And they're these things and they've got a little plastic, they're all plastic, but it's got a little plastic tag on it. And that goes into that slot and sits like that. So I'll be putting a tiny touch of CA on that and gluing it in. And I'll do the other one as well. And then we'll go and get it lacquered. And when you use CA, of course, make sure it's foam safe CA. Not that I want to teach anyone how to suck eggs. You put the wrong CA on though, and you won't have an aircraft. So I'm just going to put a tiny drop of CA on here. Oh, that's too much. And then a little bit on the tab. And then I am going to stick that in there. 
That's it. Let's turn the next one over. This, this way. A little bit of CA in there. Not too much. There we go. Same on here. That's probably way too much. Let's pop that on there. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. Montage. Twenty-four hours later. Well, it's taken me the best part of a day to get to this stage, and all I've basically done is lacking everything. But the results are super. I'm so pleased that I finally learned how to do it. Let's go on with it. Good paint didn't come off with the tape. You can see the difference. This has got a harder shell on it, this is much softer. Great. Nothing to mask on this. 